Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Adrian Hodges. I'm a clarinetist with the U.S. Army Band, Pershing Zone, and today I'm going to help you with learning your first three notes on clarinet. It's going to be E, D, and C. So go ahead, grab your clarinet, put it together, and then we're going to start with learning the E fingering. So a couple things to check for first. You're going to want to make sure your right hand is um, on the bottom and that your right thumb is under the thumb rest here and that your left hand is on the top part of the clarinet. Now to finger the E, you're going to have your thumb over this key and your first finger, your index finger, over this key right there. Okay, so just go ahead and take a look at that and it helps to kind of wiggle it up and down just to make sure you're feeling your finger fully cover the whole tone hole. You also want to make sure do not press this uh, register key down. That's going to be for later when we play higher. All right, so you've got your thumb here. You've got your index finger here. Okay, so make sure you're all set there. Now you're going to sit up nice and straight and then pull the clarinet towards your body. And then you're going to make sure you have a nice clarinet embouchure. And I have another video about this that you can check out. But you're going to, just as a quick review, say E U and then pull your, you're going to pull your uh, chin muscle down, corners in, top lip down. So that's your clarinet embouchure. Form that and then put your clarinet in your mouth. And then you're going to take a deep breath and play your E. Good. So then for your next note, you're going to add this finger and that's going to give you a D. Go ahead and try that. Good. Your next note, you're going to add this finger. So now this is what you have down. You got your thumb, one, two, three. That's going to give you your C. Now if you want to put them all together, you can try playing E, D, C. And if you're having any issues with the notes not coming out or squeaking or anything, you're going to want to make sure that your fingers are fully covering the holes for each note. You're going to want to make sure you have a nice embouchure and that you're blowing lots of air, and also that you're not putting too much pressure uh, from your lower jaw on the reed. If you put a lot of pressure, it'll cause the reed to not be able to vibrate. So I hope that helped you with learning your first three notes, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.